I think one of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to Eminence in the Shadow is that Sid ends up knowing everything that's going on around him. In all honesty, Bro has no idea what's going on around him. If you sit down and actually look at Sid's actions, you would understand that Sid has no idea whatever happens around him. He doesn't know that he owns a kingdom. He doesn't know that he uh, is the leader of Shadow Garden. He doesn't know that, you know, he runs Mitsugushi. He did this in the John Smith arc when he plans to take down Mitsugushi. Now, there's two reasons he plans on taking down Mitsugushi. One, Mitsugushi ended up pissing off the wrong people. And two, Mitsugushi ended up, you know, kind of walking a thin line in this area. Because the more and more Mitsugushi tried to step over, the more and more they ended up, you know, getting pushback from the MCA. And once Sid ended up finding out about the MCA, he really was like, yeah, we got to stop them but by stopping them we have to stop Mitsugushi over there also and that's really where it starts coming down to it is that he's having two entities he's having to fight his plan is basically take down Mitsugushi by taking down the MCA and making both of them look like asshats by making a credit fraud system and basically crashing the market and rebuilding it under a new leadership, which puts him in charge of Mitsugushi with the money that he has already stolen from them. It's honestly a great plan when you sit down and think about it because one, he's taking down the public enemy number one of Mitsugushi. Two, he's taking down Mitsugushi in themselves. And three, he ends up doing way more and gets where he is actually knowledgeable that he's in charge. That's when everyone starts getting the misconception that, you know, he knew the entire time. No, the entire thing that he knew was that the MCA was out to kill Mitsugushi is that he had to take down both entities because Mitsugushi is too cocky to get taken down. And three, the best way to take them both down would have been to actually destroy them both. Of course, he cannot do this under the moniker of Shadow because Shadow is an entity that belongs to Shadow Garden. And Mitsugushi is going to kind of figure out that, you know, he's plotting on them. And that's the last thing he wanted to do, even though Delta ended up finding out. The best thing that Sid could do in these situations were make a whole new persona to go and enact his plan so that everything fits in the round box that he needed it to fit in so that everyone at the end of the day would, you know, easily just fit in this box, in this square for him. Why he ended up sending Delta off to fight Juggernaut to give her a distraction mission so that she no longer was able to, you know, get in his way because she was the only obstacle he had because she was the only one who could tell right off the bat that it was him. Even Alpha, it took her a little bit to figure out who Sid was. It took her a minute and a half and that's still long enough for Sid to kind of, you know, get the ones up some in on her. What I'm saying is, you know, the knowledge that Sid has, people overestimate in the show because Sid does not have all this knowledge. And even the plans that he does make, it's actually genius when it comes down to it. Everything that he does is already like 10 times better than anything that most of us would have thought about in those times.